You're watching Sporting Better. It's the second of our Cheltenham previews here with the Betting Emporium's Neil Channing. Neil, we went through the champion hurdle last time, and the champion hurdle for me as a bookmaker, good race to lay a bet. Lots of lots of doubts, lots of uncertainty. I can see you're getting excited. Let me take the wind out of your sails a little bit. Let me direct you to a race that you won't be looking forward to at this stage as a bookmaker. I think you've guessed it already, haven't you? The champion chase you're going to tell me about, aren't you? I mean, obviously... I'm already reeling from the fact you called me, called me corporate, a corporate bookmaker. <laughs> I'm highly offended about but we are looking to take bets, I should point that out. And we are looking at races where we can make a killing as a, as a punter. This champion chase does put fear into bookmakers because we don't know... I, 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 I mean, I... Good for you. I, I, you know, I am a punter, but I, I, I do think uh, a lot of times punters, you know, that kind of war between the punters and the bookmakers. I've got a lot of sympathy for you here. I used to be a race course bookmaker years ago, and uh, I would be sticking the win only sign up uh, for this champion chase. You've got an odds on favourite uh, in Duvan who, you know, probably ought to win off the track, really. Can they? I just interrupt you? Mm. Because you're right, Now, th this is a question for mm. me to you, just from a punting po point of view. Duvan, for many people, will be a bank of bets. Yeah. Ultimately, though, you've got to put three hundred pounds to win one hundred. Yeah. And not yeah. many people like doing that. Yeah. I know the style of punter you are. And I think a lot of the mm. viewers do, and the betting point do. You'll look for an each way play, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. Um, but is Duvan a better threes on? That's oh, that's actually, a I, I I actually don't really have too. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't bet odds on. That just seems like a silly idea to me. I mean, if if you said to me. Uh, I know, Arsenal against Sutton in the FA Cup, you know, you can have uh, 10 to 11. Oh no, I don't bet odds on. I mean, you know, everything has its price, doesn't it? I mean, you know, 10 to 11 says that it's a 52% chance. Maybe we think that it's an 80% chance. If I can get 52% about something that's 80%, I'm going to win money. So I, I think that that's a silly rule to have. Having said that, you know, betting odds on, especially heavy odds on, like three to one on or bigger, um, it does. It does need a, a certain mindset, you know. I mean, if your plan is to literally, I don't know, say you've saved up a thousand pounds to bet, and you're going to have, you know, fifty pounds on each race at Cheltenham or whatever, uh, and then you get into halfway through day two, and you're thinking, well, I had a bit of a bad first day. I've got seven hundred left. Let me have six hundred on Duvan to try and get out of trouble. Um, I think that's a bad way to be thinking about it. So I've heard people say that, oh, I can't bet the three to one on because I don't bet big enough. Well, you know, you don't have to win the same amount on every horse. You, you just have to place, you know, if you think, I, I actually think three to one on is very fair. I think, um, you know, I don't think all to you will run. Uh, I think it's a good chance Fox Norton and the so, uh, you know, could go uh, to the Ryanair. Uh, looks as Andre will definitely go to the Ryanair. Yeah. Um, I, I think, you know, this race could end up being a six-runner race. Uh, and, you know, Duvan might be five to one on, six to one on. So on as the much day. as it pains me, an each way bet now, uh, with this field, with the each way terms you've got, it's probably of interest to you. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, you know, that's my way of looking at it now. Because, of course, we're talking about anti-post markets. Yeah. Uh, the rules are that if we have an each way bet right now, uh, we get the, what are you a fifth first three? Fifth so three. if I have a bet right now, I've got a, I've locked in a fifth first three. If the race does end up having seven, six, five runners, uh, and and on the day it'll be a quarter first two, ha ha ha! I've got the third place. Uh, I've got my fifth, which is not so good as a quarter, but I, I've got the three places, and that makes a massive difference here because you know do, the chances are Duvan has pretty much locked up one of the places, so we need those two places. I, I need to find a horse that I think is definitely going to run uh, and one that, you know, I don't want one that's going to go and take on Duvan and get slaughtered and then end up tailed off. Uh, I'd rather have one that sort of, you know, trots around behind and, and picks up the pieces running on up the hill. Uh, and it's a horse I actually backed in this race last year. Uh, the stables are having a brilliant year, actually. Tom George's stable. Uh, the horse is God's own. Uh, finished fourth in this race last year, which was a bit of a sickener, really. Um, I think it'll run in this race. I mean, it could. There is an argument for saying it could go to the Ryanair, um, but I think they've decided that they want to go to this race. I think the fact that the race will cut up is better. Um, oh, I just think like you're you're getting six, 16 to one a fifth means you're getting about three to one a place. You might say, well, it can't really come. There's only two places to shoot at because Duvan's going to block up one of those places. 
Uh, but I think you'll find that three to, if, if we could have a place only bet, I don't know whether you fancy laying me that, Russ. Uh, three, three to one to come in the first three, I think, is a, is a really good bet. Uh, and I think 16 to one to win it is not the worst bet you'll have. You have to have a slightly not great bet on the win in order to have a brilliant bet on the place. Uh, so that's going to be a, a strong bet for me. A little bit of a dirty each way play. Uh, Often your bookmaker won't be very keen on you having it, but you see, you'll do all right, Ross. You'll get it back in the handicaps. That's Neil's view on the champion chase. It's a race lots of bookmakers aren't looking forward to simply because of those each way terms and the way the race may cut up. Do van for many people the bank of the festival at threes on those, so would you be prepared to take such a short price? Thanks for that one, Neil. We'll be back next time with the world hurdle and some other views as well. Just remember again, anything you want to address with us here, send it to elite at sportingbet.com. We're trying to lay some of Neil's picks and also give you a chance of winning some money at the festival. And on day two, it's the 250, the Coral Cup, the 450, the Fred Winter, and the 530, the Bumper. If you back your horse, it comes second. You get your money back as a free Wow, bet. you picked yeah. three hard ones there, Ross. Yeah, absolutely. See you next time here at Sporting Bet.